Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to create your own JavaScript utility library using modules and the import export syntax. All right, so this right here is really easy and almost anyone can do this and you can easily include this library on your existing website or project to of course store some logic in one place and then use it multiple times throughout your entire project, all right? So you can do things like store logic for uh, DOM manipulation, string manipulation, you know, math, whatever it might be, you can put inside your uh, utility library. So I've got this indexed HTML right here with currently nothing going on. There's no included JavaScript, all right? So starting from scratch here, we can create a new folder called JS. So you can call this folder lib if you want or library. I'm gonna call mine JS and then make a new file here called util.js. So this file right here, of course, is short for utility.js. Now, this is where you're going to want to store all of your uh, functions, all right? So all of your helper functions, okay? As an example here, we're going to say export function add, okay? So this function here is going to take in an array of numbers and then, of course, add them together before returning the results, okay? So one important thing here is going to be the export keyword. So export means other JavaScript files can then take this function and include it, you know, um, in their own file and basically use that function. Okay. As an example here, let's just say let sum equal to zero, then say for every single number of the numbers array that's being passed in, let's say sum plus equals n to add it to the list or add it to the total and then return the sum. So that is our function complete. You guys can make many of these functions, all right? It's up to you. And once you're happy with the amount of functions you have, uh, going back inside the directory structure here, let's make a new file called main.js. So this file right here is gonna be where all of your website logic is going to sit. So you guys may already have an existing main.js file or a similar file, um, and you can simply reuse that one if you like, but I want to make a new one here. The important thing to do is though, is going back in the index HTML, when you include your main.js file, make sure you have, so I'll, I'll include this here, make sure you have the type of module. So this type of module here is going to ensure that we can now use the import export syntax to of course include the util library inside main.js, okay? So I'll save this right here, go back in main.js, then we're gonna simply include those functions or whatever we want to include. Now, of course, I need to remove the duplicate function, so let's do that. Um, but going back in the main.js now, let's import that add function. So we can simply say import, then using curly braces here, we can say add from dot forward slash util dot js. So now add is going to be this function right here. Okay. We can now say console.log add pass in something like one, two, and three. And of course, now we should get six in the console. I'll go in the browser here, do a refresh and we get six right there. So as we can see, the function is being used. Okay. That's basically it. So you can, you know, if you've got multiple functions here, you could simply put a comma and you can import some more functions, whatever you might have inside there. You can do so using commas to, you know, include multiple. Um, and one thing to mention before I go is that um, it's probably better if you guys can, um, uh, you know, store this utility file somewhere else. So maybe if you've got a web server, you can store it on your website in some sort of directory. That way, anytime you want to use your function or use your library, you can simply include it from that one place. Um, it's up to you guys, but you know, that just sort of prevents you from having to obviously copy this file, um, you know, every time you make a new project. But that's how to create your own JavaScript utility library using modules and the import export syntax. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.